Good day everyone, this is Gary Arnold from Structured Solutions. Today I'm going to show you how to make this chart using SSI Presentation Professional. Instead of using the Import Shapes one click button, today we're going to use some of the advanced Microsoft Project Import features and we're also going to work with legends on the page. We'll end up creating a page that distinguishes between primary tasks, secondary tasks, those might be your primary and secondary drivers, milestones that are complete, milestones that are incomplete, uh, regular tasks, tasks that are complete, summaries, and then we also have a legend down here for the timeline. So we'll be working a lot with legends and we'll be working with the advanced import form. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm starting off with a blank page in PowerPoint, but I am going to add some text. So I am going to add a title to the slide. Even though this is going to be a page that's created with SSI Presentation Pro, I can still add additional PowerPoint elements to this. If you want to start off with a PowerPoint page that has your company logo, uh, maybe your company background, or maybe elements that you created on an additional slide, go ahead and do that. Now I'm going to add some SSI Presentation Pro Legends to the page, working with the Legends group. You've got standard legends for tasks, summaries, milestones, timelines, tasks that are complete, and milestones that are complete. But you also have an option that says Add Custom Legend Type. If I click that, I need to add a legend title. I'll type the word Primary. Click OK. And then I'll click the button that says Add New Legend. The new legend is added to the page using the default colors for a new custom legend. I can take control of the color and style of the legends by using another option to add a custom legend to the page. And now I'm going to click the down arrow in the lower right corner of the legends group. And using this form I'm going to add a new legend. This one will be for my secondary driver, so I'll type the word secondary. Click OK. Now I can pick a color for the secondary drivers. I'll use light blue. And I can even add a shape effect. So I'm going to add a top bevel and a shadow to this shape. Then I'll click the button that says Save Settings. And I'll close the form. Now my secondary custom legend item is going to appear in the drop-down list. And I can add that to the page. And notice that it's following the color and the style that I selected using the additional controls using the drop-down arrow in the lower right corner of the legends group. I'm going to add a couple other standard legends to this page. First one being the legend for tasks that are complete, the other one being the legend for milestones that are complete. I could just select them here and then click that button. But I'm going to click the down arrow in the lower right corner of the legends group. This is going to allow me to take control of the color and style for tasks that are complete and the color and style for the milestones that are complete. So for tasks that are complete I think I'll make that gray uh, and I'm going to add the, the top bevel and the shadow, just as I did for the other two legend items. I'll save those settings. And now I'm going to pick the legend styles for milestones that are complete. Those are going to be uh, filled in solid, solid black. Uh, I'm going to add the top bevel and the shadow to those as well. Save those settings. And I'll pick milestones. And I'll go ahead and add the top bevel and the shadow to the milestones and save those settings. I'll close this form. Now I can pick each of those. So I'll, I'll add the, the legend for tasks, add that to the page. Notice that there's no top bevel, um, no shadow. That's just using the standard defaults. I didn't modify that one. But if I choose tasks that are complete and add that to the page, uh, now it's got that top bevel and it's got a little shadow. Uh, likewise for my milestones and my milestones that are complete. 
now I've got all the legends that I want on the page if, if I import something and, and I have, uh, it, it, if it needs to create an additional uh, legend style, it'll do that for me automatically. I've arranged the screen to show Microsoft Project on the left-hand side and my new PowerPoint page on the right-hand side. In Microsoft Project, I'm going to select the items that I want to import onto the PowerPoint page. Notice that some of the items have the word primary and some of the items have the word secondary in text field 10. Text field 10 is titled SSI Analysis, but in Microsoft Project it's just the text 10 field. I'm going to select these items all the way down through the preliminary design review. Then I'm going to move to the PowerPoint side and expand this. With those items selected in Microsoft Project, I could just click the Import Shapes button, but I'm going to click the down arrow in the lower right corner of Import Shapes, and I'm going to open the Advanced Microsoft Project Import Form. Here I need to tell Presentation Professional to read Text Field 10 in Microsoft Project. Remember that Text Field 10 is where I entered the words primary and secondary. And that's going to match those tasks against these task type legends that I created at the bottom of the page. I'm going to import all of this as a Gantt chart by selecting the Gantt chart option. And now I'll click the button that says Import Selected Project Items. And there's my page. I added a lot of Microsoft Project items to a single page in PowerPoint, so I'm going to need to clean the text up a bit so that it presents well. I'll do that all just using built-in Microsoft PowerPoint features. First thing I'll do is I'll take this text box and move it up. Now I'm going to select all of the task milestone and summary text. I'll go to the Home menu in PowerPoint and just decrease the font size until that presents well. I'm pretty happy with the way the text looks now. Now let's take a look at these legend items. These are the legend items that were created using the standard default styles on the legends group in Presentation Professional. I can take any one of these legend items and restyle that. So I can right click and format that shape. That'll open up the Format Shape Task pane over on the right hand side. Now if I want to add that top bevel feature, that 3D effect to that shape, I can do that. Likewise I can do the same thing for my summary. Again that's Format Shape. It's this Effects option, and that's called, called a Top Bevel. And I'll do the same thing for the Timeline. So again, I'll just add the Top Bevel to that, just like that. And then to apply these new styles, I'll click on the Update Shapes drop-down arrow in the lower right corner and I'll select Match Legend Styles. Notice now that all of the primary drivers as identified by Text Field 10 in Microsoft Project are colored red, these items here. All the secondary drivers are colored with this light blue color Tasks that have no identification in Text Field 10 are just blue. However, tasks that are complete are gray. That would be these two items here. Milestones that are not complete are gray. Milestones that are on the critical or primary driving path are color-coded red. You see those here. Milestones that are complete are black. This is the legend that controls the style of the timeline these shapes here, and this is the legend item that controls the style of the summary, 
all of these orange bars. And finally, I'm going to add the group box, or swim lane as it's called in SSI Presentation Pro, around all of the milestones. So I'm going to select the first few lines which represents the milestones in this project. That selects all of those items. And I'll click the button that says Add Swim Lane. I'm going to eliminate all of the text, just putting a box around those. And then I'm going to pick a color for that swim lane and I'll, I'll choose light green. And then I'll click the button that says make swim lane. And now I've got a group box around all of my project milestones. Of course, I could continue to do that for additional items on this page. But I think I'll stop here and just give you all time to practice that on your own. Thank you for attending. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you'll be notified when we post new content and new tips and tricks on using SSI Presentation Professional.